Hey everyone, I have a quick little update video for you today while I work on a bigger video for this weekend. Those of you who follow me on Instagram may have noticed that I've recently been using a lot of markers and ink. Part of that is because I knew I wanted to be using these materials for Inktober this year, but also I've just really been enjoying changing things up. Sometimes I kind of feel like I get stuck in my ways and I start progressing more slowly. So I personally find that when I change things up, I try new materials, uh, I learn so much faster. Markers are permanent, they're chunky, they're so different than watercolor and gouache, and I love drawing and I really want to improve my drawing skills and they're really easy to carry. So taking them out for a day of sketching is super easy and convenient. Another thing I really love them for is doing value studies before I paint. So sometimes on the couch, I'll be sketching with ink and just one or two value markers, like gray markers. And then the next day I can get into my studio and paint whatever I was drawing. In this case, I was focusing on light moving through the forest and just creating a really unique shaped tree. And it was my first time trying out the Shinhan Twin Touch Marker. I really love the big chisel tip because I can get really big chunky shapes. So today I wanna to talk about my plans for Inktober this year, and I'm very excited. So in the past, I have attempted Inktober a few times. I have maybe finished it once, and by finished I mean I've done an ink painting or drawing every single day, but I have always struggled with the whole daily prompt thing. I'm fine with painting and drawing every day, but something about having a specific thing that I'm supposed to draw every single day that's like set out for me ahead of time, um, where I don't get to choose what I'm excited about in the moment, um, that is what bothers me, or, or is what I struggle with. So for Inktober this year, if anyone else out there is kind of like me um, and you wanna participate but the daily prompt thing just isn't your thing, uh, here is what I'm proposing. This is a weekly prompt list. So instead of daily prompts, we are going to be doing weekly themes. So let's take a look in the calendar view. Week one is only three days, so we're just going to use that time to play and experiment and get used to our materials. I am going to be using a variety of materials like pens, ink wash with brushes, markers, and maybe some other surprises mixed in. Week two, we're going to start with nature. This is pretty selfish, I admit, because I love nature. It's my biggest inspiration, so I wanted to start with something really fun and comfortable um, but I'm of course going to be challenging myself to paint things in nature with ink that maybe have intimidated me before. Week three is all about structures, and by that I mean anything related to the built environment. So urban sketching, architecture, monuments, like anything you can come up with. Week four is all about people, which <laughs> I have to admit kind of terrifies me. I am not very familiar with painting or drawing people or portraits, so that one is going to be a huge challenge for me. Week five is about animals, and I'm pretty excited about that. I promise I won't only be drawing cats. <laughs> I'll be sharing my progress mostly on Instagram, but I'll also be making videos throughout the month here on YouTube and posting my sketch pages on Patreon at the end of the month. But I have to be a little bit careful with my timing, with my schedule, because I am launching a Kickstarter at the end of October. I've been working on these books all summer and they're finally ready. So I'm really excited to share more about that in another video. I made this little graphic that you are more than welcome to download and share when you post things on social media. Just make sure to use my hashtag so I can find you. And I'm very excited to see what you're all up to. To give you an idea of where I've started with my ink journey, I am going to show you a couple pages in my old sketchbooks. So one year I was really focused on line drawing and hatching and using a brush pen, and I learned a ton about line quality by doing that. And then another year I focused more on playing with ink washes, which, whoa, that was messy. <laughs> 
I vividly remember spilling an entire bottle of India ink across a table, just barely saving it in time before it spilled onto the carpet. And more recently, I focused on doing value studies with ink. So using ink wash with a brush, a little bit of ink pen, and kind of combining the two. So don't be afraid. It's just ink. What do you have to lose? It's fun. Feel free to join us. All right, I'll see you this weekend. <laughs>